the rain. <laughs> okay, but it's gentle drizzle, mm. but it makes the skin feel sensationally soft. Okay. Okay, you enjoy <laughs> it. You're enjoying mm. this. Okay, mm -hmm. it's a tribute to the rain. Okay. Yeah. Yes. Yes. <laughs> just like that. Just like that. Perfect. All right. Now, I would like you to put this bag over your head. All right, guys. Welcome to Devlin's Domain. Today, I've got a release from Severin Films. Uh, never heard of this one actually. They usually release like uh, some older movies, kind of just like you know, spruce them up, repackage them, and put them on Blu-ray. But uh, this one's uh, came out in 2014. This is Bag Boy Lover Boy. I don't know if this is like the first official release or not. It's just been sitting in limbo for like three years. But uh, yeah, I, I haven't really heard anything about it. Uh, I saw the trailer. The trailer looked pretty crazy. Uh, cover looks pretty crazy, and uh, you know it sounds pretty. Uh, true work of exploitation cinema, unafraid to take risk and visit dark places. I love dark places. Uh, disturbing and gritty. This movie doesn't defy conventions and molest them. You know that sounds badass to me. Uh, uh, assuming they're not uh, stretching things a little bit. Uh, so it's it's like some guy that runs like a hot dog cart. <laughs> he gets picked up by a fetish photographer. To do some uh, some work in the seething underbelly of the city, so <laughs> this, this sounds good. It can go to some odd places. It's like they, they get this girl with like a bag on her head in the cover. Uh, yeah, it's the, from the stills I've seen of it, it looks like a fucking bloodbath. There's just blood everywhere. Uh, but yeah, I have no idea where this is going. Uh, hopefully, somewhere disturbing. Uh, you got audio commentary on here. You got student films of actor John Walker. I hope I said that right. You got light and the never starting story. So a couple of short films on here. That's pretty cool. And you have, of course, the trailer. So not loaded or anything, but it's got a few things. Uh, yeah, it says it says 2014 was the year this was made. It's like I don't know. I'll, I'll look into it later and. See, like, if there's actually another release in this or not, because I have never heard of this before, before Severin announced it on their slate. Uh, it's relatively new to, to, to Blu ray, though, it just came out this year, so let's open it up. All right, there's a closer look of this gnarly looking face here, and the uh, maybe she's a hideous woman, they got a dagger. Uh, and there's your special features, there's a couple things there. And your synopsis. And get it to focus. Sorry about that. A couple still. He's like covered in blood there. He's covered in blood there. Alright, there's your disc. Looks like maybe a catalog, perhaps. Yeah, so they got a. Can we see that? The Other World with Richard Stanley. That looked pretty interesting. I saw the trailer for that. But yeah, it's just a calendar of their stuff. Uh, 2017 releases. So that's cool. I'm gonna check that out. Maybe they got some stuff I don't know about yet. Uh, Bag Boy, Lover Boy. Let's watch it. All right, well, I have to say that I'm just a tad bit disappointed in this one. Not a bad movie at all. Uh, I did enjoy the movie, actually. Uh, just kind of, just by the way the cover is and the way the, uh, you know, the critics, you know, hyped it up, it didn't really deliver in, like, the disturbing factor. Uh, wasn't all that out there. I mean, the premise is kind of out there, but... I don't know, it just didn't, uh, didn't move me in any way, I guess. Uh, you have the main character, he's the hot dog vendor. He's kind of like an off guy. And it says on here he's like, uh, the best male performance in a horror movie this year. I mean, it, uh, let's assume this is just a normal guy. 
yeah, this would be a great performance. But uh, going by what I saw, like he's got his student films on here where he does some narration and he does some acting. And I think he's just a weird guy. He's ba I think he's basically just playing himself in this, to be honest, uh, which isn't really much effort. <laughs> and, and there's like some scenes where he seems like he's just like reciting dialogue and not really like delivering it as a character, you know, it's, it doesn't seem genuine. It just seems like he's just reading lines. Uh, that's just how I felt in some parts. You know, some parts he did pretty well, but yeah, some parts just seemed kind of off to me. Uh, everyone else did pretty well in the movie. Uh, so he, he's like working at the hot dog stand, you know, like I said, he, he's got a weird, weird way about him. Kind of off, kind of like borderline, like, mentally handicapped or something uh so you know he's got a crush on this girl that you know she's nice to him he gives her free hot dogs but she's always hooking up with other guys you know she he he sees her like hook up with a guy who's a photographer and uh he was recently approached by a photographer about one to do like uh photo shoots with him the guy wanted to pay him to model and you know he even gave him an advance like some money like hit me up uh so he, you know, in an effort to woo this girl he's attracted to, he, he goes to do this modeling gig in hopes to actually get some photography experience. And uh, they put him in, like, some weird situations. You know, he's, like, you know, he has a strip down, and there's, like, this hot chick he's got to, like, strangle. He, they make, her, make him put a bag over her head and choke her for the pictures. And that becomes, like, his thing that, that he does. He's kind of, like, absorbing all this stuff that goes on around him you know he wants to be the photographer and so he's like taking you know he's, he's taking it all in he's kind of quiet about it but uh as the film goes on you know he he decides that he's not going to work for this guy anymore unless he like teaches him how to do photography so the guy just kind of gives him his old polaroid and he's like here you go kid you know go model for me and uh so he, he he's fucking dumb he doesn't know how to use a polaroid like he, he he gets like some girl he like pays a hooker to take pictures for him and like like I said he, he's like pretty much he's acting like the asshole that the photographer he's working for was you know just yelling at her and commanding her and wanting to put the bag on her head and all this and he none of his pictures turn out because he's a moron and he's like he like shake the camera as soon as he snaps it and so it's all blurry and he just doesn't understand. So he, is, like, he actually goes to like a, a store and like says the camera's messed up, wants them to fix it, and then they have to explain to him that he doesn't know what he's doing is the reason it doesn't work. Uh, of course, you know, at a certain point, this all turns into tragedy, <laughs> as one would hope it would. Uh, there is some death in this. Uh, you know, it's partially due to his just bizarre nature and, and uh, his, his obsession with this girl and uh, you know he, he's got it in his head that he's doing art and he doesn't he doesn't see the lines of you know what's real and fantasy and stuff like that uh, but overall it wasn't really all that disturbing to me uh, maybe I'm just so desensitized from seeing so much weird shit that uh, it's going to take a lot more than this to do it for me. But uh, it, it was enjoyable. It was a fun fun watch. Uh, you know, it, it was a strange character that we had to follow through this story. Uh, definitely, I would definitely recommend watching it. Uh, don't know if I'd recommend buying it, though. Uh, I'm, I'm kind of glad I have it. It is, it is a strange film, so I, I'm kind of like a collector of strange stuff so i don't mind having it but for just average person just wanting to look at a really good movie maybe this isn't like a great movie so it's pretty good it's pretty weird it's not not great not phenomenal I hate to say it yeah <laughs> so that's my opinion on bag boy lover boy so you can pick that up at Severn films i'll put a link in the description if you want to check it out and see if you want to buy it maybe uh get a better look at it there uh, but yeah, links in the description, hit the like button if you liked the video, hit subscribe if you want to see more, see you guys later.